that you ought to tell the president. Tell him. George Meany on 91. George? Yes, Mr. President. When are you coming back? I'm coming back tomorrow afternoon. I don't know why that's going to hold this long. We're really getting ourselves in a hell of a thing. Well, can, uh, everybody's getting ready to break loose, and uh, uh, these boys that uh, really want to chew up the guidelines, they're going to chew themselves up, and we just got to have some uh, direction and leadership and responsibility, and I've made works go up again and take a pounding in the house this morning by telling them that there's no national emergency. That bill doesn't hurt anybody the way it is now, but if we could get this thing settled, we'd save a lot of bills, and that's the way it ought to. But they tried that that fake bill, and uh, that would erect everything, and we've we've got it in pretty good shape if we could just get some action and some decision. And well, I'm I think you're the only one who can get it. I understand Staggers has done a hold that I, uh, I've asked to appear there Monday afternoon or Tuesday morning. And he's got a hold of the land, and I'll go to work on... Uh, what we've got to do, though, we've got... To, we've, I know we've got to settle the damn thing. I can't feel it's already broken loose, and your man is going to be paying twice what they are, and we're sitting yeah. there. And, uh, I think that the the young Bobby Kennedy, Walter Ruther type of people in this country are going to go to move and move and put it damn fast if we don't take some, yeah. some leadership here. And what I think ought to be done, these people... Uh, uh, we've got them up to 73 million. Now, I don't know how much they got to have for their damn blood, but they ought to have these 10 machinists in here that run these locals if this guy can't run them. Yeah. We ought to find out what their price is. Yeah. We ought to make some decision in collective bargaining and show that we can still talk so that we don't have it with burn, so we don't have it with electrical workers, so we don't have it with everybody else. The steel men have used this to maul us. Yeah. They stole it from Abel, then they're stealing it now, and they're saying that the machinists can't be regulated, and they, they ignore their president, and they tell him to go to hell, so they can tell him to go to hell. Now, that's going to keep mounting unless you and I stop it. And I told Wirtz to get old every day before yesterday and ask him to get these ten leaders in here and just sit them in a room and say, now, listen, I'm a statesman, and by God, what's the price, boys? we got to settle this damn thing, and uh, I can make these other people... Uh, uh, behave and be decent, but I just can't uh, just keep putting off. I stopped it in the Senate, and I stopped it against all of our friends, and I had to win an election in Tennessee while I was doing it, and a few other things, uh, yeah. Michigan too, against this crowd. But uh, I can't do it by myself, and you've got to you've well, got to help me. I'll, I'll go to work on on C. Miller as soon as I get back there. Well, but that's going to be Saturday, George. Yeah, well. Can't uh, can't we get can't we find from can't we get C. Miller to get his ten top man on the phone and see if uh, they could put cost of living back in or if they could adjust this or they could move this fringe up to tell Jim Reynolds quietly what would get this thing done. Now, what they're doing, they're losing eight million a day yeah. and they're probably talking about less than one day. Yeah. And it's been 28 days. And the people are just, uh, it's hurting all of our movement. It's hurting me as a, as a leader because the damn steel increase yesterday will do more for labor. Yeah. to hurt them uh, and cost them more in refrigerators and in uh, pans and pots than all that this group's made in 28 days. So what we got to do is say to those boys, uh, let's be reasonable here. You, you've got uh, 4.3, and if you've got to have whatever it is, let us know yeah. and, and tell Jim Reynolds, and let me see if I can to find some way to answer it. Now, you, you brought it about the first time, but uh, you assumed, I guess, C. Miller had charge of his union, yeah. and he didn't. Yeah, well, all right, I'll see if I can get it. You get on that phone and call me back this afternoon, because I'm worried about this thing, and I, I told her it's to hold off one more day, but if they don't, I'm going to have to do something here, and I, I, I have just waited and waited and waited, and he doesn't move an inch. He's going to work on his teeth, they say. Well, I can't let the nation go to hell while he's working on his teeth. Okay, I'm ready to be... I'll get, I'll get right on the phone. Get all right, away. and you call me back. Yeah.